I'm creating this new video series to discuss the technical aspects of Sandbox rather than the fun slash gameplay aspects of it. We're going to be talking about scripting in C Sharp as opposed to Gary's Mod's Lua. We're going to be talking about Unreal Engine as opposed to Gary's Mod's Source Engine. And you know, just mostly just the technical aspects rather than the fun aspects of a game. And uh, this first video is just an introduction. I'm gonna be talking about some of the basics that we know already and some, some of the stuff that you can just go to the website and learn about. I think Gary himself said that Sandbox is not Gmod 2, but I mean, it's a Sandbox game and it's created by Face Punch, so it might as well be Gmod 2, but it's not. So the, uh, the cool thing about Sandbox is it's, it's not being developed in Source Engine and it's not, it's not powered by Lua. Uh, and the reason that's cool is because, well, Source Engine is pretty ancient and, you know, there's Source Engine 2, but no, I don't think anybody knows anything about Source Engine 2. Valve is pretty slow to, you know, discuss that. And uh, Unreal Engine, of course, being a more modern engine, it will allow for um, much better graphics, of course. And uh, even though Unreal is a, a modern engine, you know, modern modern software requires modern hardware um, performance. You know, in some situations, if you don't have a modern modern PC or a fast PC or whatever, it might be the performance might be pretty bad for you. But for the most part, the the capability of implementing high performance uh, mods and whatnot is going to be better than what it was in. In Gary's mod because um, of course source engine is pretty old and it has its limitations and the uh, source engine and Lua itself has its limitations as well and uh, the plugin developers I'm sure a lot of uh, plugin developers I'm sure 90% of the Gmod plugins weren't really developed with performance in mind and that's why Gary's mod performs so badly it's also because everybody, you know, just kind of slaps together all the mods that they can. They just kind of push all the mods possible on their server. And, uh, you know, all these mods don't, they're not exactly designed to work, to process together in a, you know, in an optimal, optimal manner. But, you know, the same, same could be said for any C sharp add-ons and whatnot that, that we might find in Sandbox. But, but because it's being developed in C sharp on Unreal Engine, the, the capabilities for high performance code is, I, I believe it's better than what it was in Gary's mod. So that's something to look forward to in Sandbox is, is good performance, high frame rates. Unlike in Gary's mod, anybody who's played Gary's mod knows that the performance in RP servers or pretty much all servers is, I mean, the performance is pretty bad. So, um, so yeah, that's one good thing about C Sharp and Unreal Engine is, yeah. So not much, not a whole lot has been said about Sandbox just yet. There is a screenshot provided here. As you can see, this is a Half-Life map, I believe. Uh, and you might be you might be asking, why is there a Half-Life map in the Unreal Engine? Well, the Face Punch team have implemented a BSP importer. BSP is Valve's map format, Source Engine's map format. Um, they, they've implemented a tool to implement or to import BSP maps into Unreal Engine. And that's pretty fancy because we'll be, I, I hope we'll be able to use this feature for creating maps and importing maps and whatnot into Unreal Engine. Because then we can use, we can use Hammer Editor to create maps or we can even use one of the uh, third party editors uh, such as Sledge Editor, which is like a, a modern version of Hammer, it's much better. Uh, to, uh, to satisfy our mapping needs in Sandbox and Unreal Engine. So that's the only screenshot that they provide on the website. Actually, I think there's more posted in their blogs, but, and there are some videos here, of course, I actually, I, uh, I recommend you visit this website here, sandbox.facepunch.com and watch all these videos. I'm not gonna watch them here for you. Uh, you can see the, the programmers on the team and you can enter in your email address to sign up for the mailing list. And uh, let's see here, what else is there? There's something else I wanted to check out, maybe on the commits. <clears throat> As you can see here, it's being actively developed. They push out updates or commits on a near daily basis. Some of the most recent commits for today were regarding 
the uh, the web console and the, and the developers console itself the in-game developers console uh, Gary pushed out some commits for that and uh, let's see here let's go back to facepunchstudios.com just to see how long this project has been in development and if yeah if you visit this website you can see all their projects that have been released and projects in development here it is sandbox started on august of 2016 14 months ago one year and two months that this game has been in development and that might seem like a long time but games take a, a much longer time to create so this is probably going to be under development for a much longer time than 14 months before even we get to see beta access or private beta even but if you are interested uh, let's see then i suggest you go over to their website and just type in your email address and uh, you might receive a beta key a beta key as soon as that becomes available but it'll probably be a while um well yeah that's that's pretty much it for this video i'm going to be releasing more content on sandbox as face punch releases you know dev blogs and whatnot i'm going to be talking about them so if you're interested in this content and these videos, then subscribe and stay tuned. Thanks for watching.